Balkis, what's going on? You seem really down. What's eating at you? <sighs> it's just that the water is so polluted. It's not just dirty, it's dangerous. Many of our classmates have gotten sick from it. I just cannot stand seeing them suffering by it. I can't blame you. It's awful. If there was only something we could do. Actually, I have an idea that just might work. Come closer, both of you. <gasps> this could really make a difference. I'm in. Let's make this happen. We're going to turn this around. Let's, Let's change, change the world! world. Additionally, we strive to raise awareness and educate our school and community on sustainable environmental practices, fostering a deeper understanding of the importance of protecting our water resources. Firstly, we took a sample from the fish tank to the lab. The pH level was 3.43. Then, the water sample was tested to determine the pollution level during using the methylene blue method. We first added a few drops of methylene blue and mix it until it was fully combined and then we waited for a few days. The water sample decolorized much quicker than the other two water samples, indicating that the fish tank water was the most polluted. Next, this sample underwent a phytoremediation process by adding salvinia molesta to the water sample for a few days. The pH level improved to 6.89. This demonstrates that the Salvinia molesta can help purify polluted water by absorbing pollutants. Next, we used the water from the senior block. We tested the pH level of the water and the reading for the senior block was 4.43, indicating it is less polluted than the water from the fish tank. Afterward, we added methylene blue. The water from the senior block took longer to decolorize than the water from the fish tank. We recorded the timing and saved the data. After the water went through the phytoremediation process using Salvinia molesta, the overall water quality improved. For the second test, we tested the pH level of the water and the reading has changed to 8.08. .08. The water from the senior spot decolorized slower than the sample water before we added the Salvinia molesta. The next water sample is from our school's foyer. The initial pH level of the water was 9.23. The same steps are repeated by adding methylene blue and stir accordingly. The water from the foyer decolorized much faster than both the water samples from the fish tank and the senior spot. After the water went through the phytoremediation process using Salvinia molesta, the overall water quality improved. We tested the water again and it showed a pH level of 4.43. This proves that Salvinia molesta can help treat polluted water by absorbing the pollutants into their roots and improve water quality. There are tons of benefits that comes from using the phytoremediation process, such as increasing the water quality in the surrounding water bodies. By absorbing the pollutants with their roots, the water becomes much cleaner and safer for human use. Besides that, it's also cost effective. In conclusion, the problem that we were faced with could be counted. It is very easy to implement and use on a community scale. 